We're here today talking with Pat about home safety for the elderly. Um, Pat recently had a fall, and so we were going to get her take on um, how the home can be uh, made safe for the elderly. Well, I did realize that my balance was not what it used to be, and I was generally being very careful using a cane. And one morning I picked up my morning paper, had my purse in my hand, and something else, I don't remember just what, but too much. And I really did need my cane, which I didn't have. Ambulance came and took me to the hospital. I ended up in surgery for a broken leg. Broke apart and ended up in surgery and then in rehab where they put you to work with exercises to get your strength back. Takes time. It's frustrating sometimes not being able to do what you did do. As far as um, aids in the house, you really need a lot of grab bars. Have them put where you feel you need them. Um, the other guy doesn't know where you're having trouble, so tell him where you want them. In the bathroom, around the shower, I had them, uh, when I had it done before I fell, um, I had them re reinforce all around the shower so that they, I could put grab bars in anytime I want to. I now have one that I use as a towel washcloth holder in the shower and I have two uh, at the entrance to the shower and move furniture out of the way if you're using a walker you need room and there's um, instead of um, trying to carry food from one place to another, it's a good idea to have a tray that attaches to the top of your uh, walker. That, yes. The, okay. Yeah, because if you're using a microwave, it's over there, and the fridge is over there, and to take something from one to another, don't try to handle it yourself. <laughs> Just by luck, <laughs> a reach too far, um, such as pulling the curtains closed or pulling shades up or down or opening or closing windows. You can reach just so far using a walker. It's little things like that that you discover and you do have to adapt. 